Okay, we are now coming onto the North Slope, which is the most valuable timber in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, you can see the ribbon here, the ribbon there, and way, just keep following the level line, the contour, back into the East Slope where we've been working the past five years near, near our cabin and infrastructure, just to keep the fire away, hopefully, when it comes to a dull roar. But, here you can see the ribbons here going now into a ravine, but they're staying along the contour and it's going up until it hits the level line and then across the ravine on the contour. So we're going to be able to trap moisture in the swales um, on the contour, just like contour strip farming that my uh, teacher Bruce Baker taught me years ago. Same thing in the forest, contour strip forestry. And this dovetails into permaculture where we could have a food forest here in years to come once these nutrient and moisture batteries come online with all of the carbon and mycelium. Um, basically they're mimicking the large dead down that doesn't exist anymore in the forests of British Columbia except in the old growth. Large dead down are essential to the uh, moisture holding capacity of the forest especially during the drought times of year which is many. Anyways, we don't have the large dead down, so we have to mimic them with the swales on contour, the slash swales on contour. So yeah, um, you're going to see this transform now. We're going to bring light from the canopy to the forest floor at about 30%. Up, you know, down in here, there is almost 0% light hitting the forest floor because it's just too much carbon. There's been fire suppression for a few centuries. So we have to thin it now and, and get it back to um, natural stem, uneven managed stand of um, a healthy forest so we can have clean water and, and healthy fire and etc.